The South Carolina Hall of Fame was founded in Myrtle Beach in 1973 to recognize and honor contemporary and past citizens who have made outstanding contributions to South Carolina's heritage, history, and progress. John C. Calhoun was an American politician and political theorist from South Carolina during the first half of the 19th century. His ideas about states' rights and limited government led the state and region towards secession from the Union, igniting the Civil War. A major political figure for 40 years in public office. At one time, a heartbeat from the presidency as Vice President of the United States was quite a major position uh, representing South Carolina in national politics. John Caldwell Calhoun was born March 18, 1782, in the Abbeville District, what is now known as McCormick County. He attended both common and private schools and eventually studied law at Yale University and graduated in 1804. Not only did Calhoun practice law, he was also greatly involved in agricultural endeavors. He owned the plantation, was about 1,100 acres. It was a working cotton plantation. Uh, in addition to cotton, they also raised corn, raised some cattle, and had forested and pasture lands. He served in the South Carolina State Legislature and was elected to the United States House of Representatives, where he served three terms. Originally, Calhoun's political views were aligned with nationalism, as he was a proponent of a strong, centralized government. He was certainly a, a philosopher, a political thinker, and uh, looked at government in, uh, in a, a new and often uh, different way. In 1812, it was Calhoun who led the charge, rallying Congress to declare war against the British at the onset of the War of 1812. There were issues, particularly with Great Britain, that were not rectified or our sovereignty and borders were being infringed upon and uh, sought to reflect that in, in a military way. He was appointed Secretary of War by President James Monroe in 1817. During that eight-year term, Calhoun reorganized and modernized the War Department. In 1824, he briefly ran for president before withdrawing and running for vice president, an office to which he was elected and served under President John Quincy Adams. The following election year, he was re-elected and served as vice president to President Andrew Jackson. It was during this time that Calhoun's political ideology began to shift. Calhoun becomes adversarial with the president and uh, parts of it dealt with a series of tariffs. That's when he first came forward with his ideas on nullification leading to states' rights, that a state had a right to nullify or void a federal law that a state felt was unconstitutional. In 1832, he became the first vice president to resign from office. His idea was really that he couldn't be as vocal as vice president. Calhoun was able to go back into the Senate and to work out a series of reduced tariffs in 1844, Calhoun was appointed Secretary of State by President John Tyler, and later he would be elected to the United States Senate. He had spent his life keeping the South within the Union. He had been, you know, such a strong nationalist for such a long period of time. The later sort of radical generation took Calhoun's ideas to sort of that ultimate end that he might not have seen as secession. For being in public office for 40 years, there's much more to study and much more to learn about his life. On March 31st, 1850, 11 years before the start of the American Civil War, Calhoun died while in Washington, D.C. and is buried in St. Philip's Churchyard in Charleston.